Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about florals. We are going to do a total how-to DIY talking all things floral spring, pretty much for any season, but this is going to be a really fun video that's gonna give you lots of tips, fundamentals, how to get the look. So I'm super excited about this. It's a lengthy video, so grab a cup of coffee or a little snack it's gonna be a fun video, so make sure you stick around. So I've divided this video up into three different sections, faux florals, preserved florals, and real florals. So let's get started with the faux. So when I am shopping for faux florals, I am very, very picky because I do not like them to look really cheap. I like things to look a little bit higher end, so I will literally sort through everything and really pick through and make sure that if I'm buying a faux floral that it is a really good floral. You kind of have to dig around because there is a lot of cheap stuff out there. I thought these Lily of the Valleys were cute. I will link these and what I can below. So I liked these little white fillers, but they were attached to this really bright, really cheap looking flower. So that would be a no-go for me. When looking for color, I'm very picky about the color. I kind of like more muted colors, but I will go with color, especially for spring. These are amaranthus and they're faux. These are in green and then a really pretty kind of ivory. And it has just a little hint of like a pink tone, but I think this is a really pretty way to incorporate that spring look. So if I was going to grab these, I would definitely grab a little bundle of them, not just one or two. I would probably, depending on the vase that you're gonna use, maybe three, four, five, and get it really, really full because they look better when they're really bunched and batched. These are really, really popular. They're pretty inexpensive as well. Remember, all of this florals are 40% off at Michael's right now. So you can get a bundle of these. I will usually use these in a lower vase and I squish about three, four, five of them, depending on the vase in there. And they look so pretty. I have them in pink. They have them pretty much year round in all different types of colors. This was a cute little vignette that I put together. It had those same pink florals. These ones are a little bit more fall-like, but I think you could really use these either way. And I just kind of go with do whatever makes you happy, whatever saves you money and whatever you like. So I can really use these year round. So for this little vignette, I put together three bundles and they fit perfectly. This is an older Studio McGee vase. These are really easy to style. You can literally just plop them in. I leave the paper on so it kind of keeps them bunched together. I love styling things really cute around the house depending on the season. This is a really cute way to add some flowers and some color, a little bit of wood, a little bit of sparkle with some salt and pepper shakers. You can also change things around by adding a candle or some fresh fruit. The sky is the limit. I usually just like to use what I have on hand in the fridge or laying around. Michael's is bursting with the faux floral. So if that is your thing, your style, definitely check out Michael's. Also don't forget your coupons and their spring stuff is 40% off right now. So. so I definitely had to show you guys what Hobby Lobby has for faux florals and faux greenery. They have really good faux in my opinion, better than Michael's I think. I would really encourage you guys to not just look at the floral part that's really open, but go down the aisles. That's how my Hobby Lobby is set up, but going down the aisles and really looking at everything just to get an idea of what they have. They have so much and a lot of really good quality foes in my opinion. I loved this lavender. I thought it was really pretty at $14.99 a bunch, a little pricey. So definitely wait for the sales. I think they switch their sales on florals and preserved florals like off and on like every other week. I love these ivory. I don't know what type of flower they are, but they are so gorgeous, $11.99. But if you wait for the sale, they'll be half off. So you can buy a 
bunch of them, bunch them together and they will look gorgeous. They also have them in this deep reddish pinkish color. Gorgeous. You could probably get away with two of these in a smaller vase, in like a shorter type vase. These are gorgeous. This is another favorite of mine. These are also from Hobby Lobby and I think that I like bought these out last fall. They were $5.99 and then I think I may have gotten them for half off when they were in um, the fall season. So I love these. I still use these even though it's not fall. I just think they're a really beautiful flower and I pair them with this Minka vase from Anthropology. And what I like to do with the faux florals is I like to make them look as real as possible. So I will really bend those stems a lot, kind of mimicking nature and like they've been a little wind blown. And yeah, I just bend them and make them look a little bit more wispy and natural. So if you're using a really big vase and you want them a little bit more bunched together, not kind of falling really loosely, you can use a smaller vase inside a larger vase and it kind of keeps the stems bunched together and prevents them from kind of going outward and flopping over to the side, if that makes sense. I really stuffed this vase as much as I could. This is such a gorgeous one. This is the extra large Minka and I love using this one in a room that has really tall ceilings. I feel like when you have really tall ceilings, you want to use vases that are really tall or in a grand like entrance or a dining room or kitchen, something with really high ceilings. A tall centerpiece is really a great way to enhance that height, drawing the eyes up and making things look and feel bigger. these cute little spring stems I think are from Target years ago so I doubt you could find them now I will double check or link something similar I'm going to put these on my dining room table so I wanted something a little bit on the taller side but I wanted to use this clear glass vase so you can see how that stem going all the way to the bottom it's pretty much taking up half of my stem so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them about halfway up and bend the stem stem almost in like a Z type pattern so that it stops halfway. And the purpose of this is to really enhance that height. I don't want my stem inside the vase. I want my stems to be tall and be coming out of the vase almost like a more realistic type flower or stem would. So even though it's crooked, just hang on a second so I've got a couple more and once you start putting uh, two or three of them in there they'll kind of grab onto each other so you only need maybe one to really hang on to the sides and then the others will just kind of bunch together and they'll all hold each other up if that makes sense so you have your stems that are only going about halfway and to make this look a little bit more realistic I'm gonna add some water so these are rubber stems so the water will not bother them at all and to me from far away, you could really almost not even tell that these are fake at all. It's a really good little trick. I really love the height on this. Our dining room is pretty tall, I would say about 10 or 12 foot ceilings. And so this really enhances that and makes it feel really airy and open, light and springy. So moving on to the preserved florals. So these are always a favorite of mine because to me these look a little bit better than the faux florals, but they still have like kind of a crafty type smell, if that makes sense. I feel like you can really play around with these a lot and they tend to last like forever. As long as you store them nicely, they really can last a long time. So I will almost always buy these when they're on sale. I hardly ever pay full price. I really love these white ones. These are great for spring. Some have that brown stem and some have that green. So be aware of that. I like the green more for spring and the brown for more of a fall, but either you probably wouldn't even notice really. 
I'm never impressed by Hobby Lobby's eucalyptus. It looks really fake, really too bright. I want them so bad to get the silver dollar eucalyptus and they never have it. So Hobby Lobby, come on, step it up. <laughs> The little bunny tails are always super cute. This one was for fall. They're kind of in a deeper red color, but I love this with some wood and a little cotton bag for hanging maybe by the door or in a mud room. I love this idea. A cute way to adapt this for spring is to just get the little ivory bunny tails. They're usually at Hobby Lobby and that's a really great way to make them a little bit lighter for spring. It's so cute. So for this, I just cut these down a little bit. I reused that little tie, bunched them together, and then I just hung them on that little cotton bag. Those are from Amazon. I can link them if you guys are interested. But yeah, just a super cute little way to add a little bit of floral to a space. If you aren't sure about when your florals are going to be on sale, go ahead and give Hobby Lobby a call. You can ask when their sales are before you go all the way down there and waste your time. I am that way. I like to know when the sales are going on. You can also check out online. They have all of their sales posted in their weekly ad, um, and that'll give you an idea too of when is a good time to buy your florals and stock up. So this is one of the baskets that I have in my garage of florals, and these are my absolute favorite. <laughs> um, I love these ones a lot. So I try to keep them in a basket to keep them somewhat nice. Um, also another tip for your vases, if you clean them out, um, to me it just makes them look a little bit more shiny. Um, sometimes they can collect dust, so giving them a fresh cleaning will always make things look nice and clean and pretty as well. So these really wispy ones are from Hobby Lobby. They're about $16 a bundle full price. So I paid about half for that. I think I use about three in my tall glass vase and I just leave them bundled right in the bottom with that little wire type thing. And these are so easy because you just literally plop them in and it gives you that nice tall height. They're very airy and wispy and I love that. I always like to adjust them and twist them a little bit in the bottom, give them a little shake to make sure they're kind of loose and not all bunched together in the top. And yeah, as soon as I place them, I just kind of perfect them. They're really not gonna be touched, so yeah. Another preserved floral I like to pick up is the flax, and these are kind of that green stem with the little yellow ball-like things on them. So I'll usually pick up about two or three of these at a time, and I usually put them in a lower vase, always paying 50% off. This little rounded vase is an older Studio McGee. I will try to link it if I can find it. This is the cutest vase. It's really short, but it's wide and it's perfect for like a nightstand or a coffee table. I really love this one. I don't think it's available anymore, so I will link some that are really similar to it. So to style these, I like to get an idea of how tall I want them and how much I need to take off to achieve that look. So I want them kind of lower and I don't want a ton of stem. I want that kind of bally flax type stuff to kind of begin right when the vase stops, if that makes sense. Maybe you could get a better visual. Um, so I'm gonna take off quite a bit and then just measure it out, make sure that that's kind of how I want them to look. And yeah, I'll just do the rest in a similar height. 
So you can see how I kind of divided that one that's a little bit more yellow. I divided that one in half so you can see it's yellow on the left and yellow on the right. And then I put the green in the center and then I really just shake them all together just to get that variation. There is a couple different colors going on in there. And so kind of by mixing them together, it kind of brings it all together rather than it looking really choppy. So I have had this flax on my nightstand for, I don't even know how long, probably over a year and a half. It really just stays all year round. The preserved florals can kind of get bumped and pushed around. So just by cleaning them up every now and then, taking off loose ends or things that are falling apart, it really cleans them up and makes them look refreshed. These burgundy with the white vase is one that I recently used in my most recent video. Super cute and super simple and it didn't cost me anything. If you love to reuse instead of buying new preserved florals, might be for you. Okay, moving on to the real thing. So I will include florals and branches. I always love an olive branch whenever possible. They are so beautiful and I use them year round all the time. And this doesn't have to stop at olive branches. You can really use any type of tree branch or bush anything that is speaking to you that is really pretty. I will literally forage my mother-in-law's house of all of her olive branches and bushes and totally use them in my own home. So she's got a lot. So again, I'm using that really good little vase trick to keep them all really bunched, give them some water so that they stay fresh. And the olive branches, I can probably get at least about a week and a half to two weeks of these on a table with replacing the water regularly. Um, and these just look so gorgeous all the time. I love them with a black vase and a candle. And I love that fresh inviting feel that real florals and stems will bring to a space. If you have a garden, another way to get some real florals into your home is to take some garden clippings. This is from one of my hydrangea plants, I am still waiting on my hydrangeas for this spring. And then I'm gonna cut some of the greenery from the trumpet vine we have that grows over our fence. It is also really pretty and adds that perfect backdrop to those hydrangeas. So I'm just gonna fill up this cute little planter with some of the greenery as a base and then put my hydrangeas right in the top. One of my favorite things about hydrangea is you don't really need a ton of it because they are so kind of bulky and wide. So two stems and it's really perfect actually. You could even do three if you're a little extra, but um, yeah, it's still so, so beautiful. Adding flowers to a cute little space or a little event, a little, girlfriend time or some prayer time. It just makes things feel a little bit more special. I love adding flowers for a dinner party, but it doesn't always have to be expensive. It can be things from your own home and it just brings that really natural, fresh and inviting feeling to a space. Okay, so moving back inside and my good old trusty glass clear vase. I love this vase. This is actually from Studio McGee Target several years ago. I will link something similar, but the height on this one is so good. So this is the silver dollar eucalyptus that I love. They always have it at Trader Joe's, but you can also get it from a local florist and it's pretty inexpensive and it lasts a really long time. So I just like to pair this with some really pretty linens. These are from Hobby Lobby, um, I believe last year, um, but something with just a little bit of texture or linen, some really simple plates, and this just makes the perfect little setup. Adding a little bit of that really pretty wood texture. These spoons are always at Hobby Lobby and a must-have. They're always really inexpensive. I think they're about 40% off right now, so 
don't miss out. But yeah, this little vignette would not be the same without the silver dollar eucalyptus. The eucalyptus just brings it all together and makes it feel so gorgeous. There really is nothing like fresh florals in my opinion. So this one always makes me laugh because these little branches came from a little bush at my mother-in-law's house and they looked a little dry and like really rough and I was not sure how these were going to turn out but I just gave them a chance and like I said when you put a lot of them together especially in this kind of low and wide vase they really take up a lot of space so they make a bigger statement in my opinion and in the end I think they look really really cute they kind of have that messy wild look and they're just something different and they didn't cost anything which is really my most favorite thing is that you can just go outside and bring beautiful decor into your home and it doesn't cost anything and it really does change the look and feel of a space this was a really cute centerpiece that I made for a Thanksgiving type tablescape and these flowers were from Trader Joe's so if you're looking for something really inexpensive but beautiful Trader Joe's is a really great place to check out for florals and greenery so because I want them sticking a little bit more up and not flopping out the sides, I'm gonna use some scotch tape and make this grid type pattern so that they stand upward a little bit more and not so floppy. And I'm just gonna arrange them. I put a lot of the greenery on the outside and then the taller ones kind of more up in the top and center and then just fill in the rest with the filler type flowers. I love a really pretty centerpiece like this for a dinner party or a little brunch, something to just add a little bit extra. These are a couple different bunches I grabbed from Trader Joe's. I think these were actually three completely separate bunches that I picked up. So I'm gonna use just this little smaller base. It's not very tall, but it's not super short either. It's a good in-between vase and these are really inexpensive I think you can find these at craft stores and things for just a couple bucks they're really inexpensive again I'm starting with that green base right on the bottom and then plopping in little pops of color there those really pretty I don't know what they are those really pretty little red flowers so if you feel your space is needing a little bit of pizzazz or a little refresh, always look for stems, florals, preserved florals, faux florals, whatever fits you, your style, and your home. So I hope that this video gave you guys a little bit of help and some tips along the way. Let me know what type of floral person you are, if you like the real thing or if you're more of a faux or preserved type of person. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you next time.